Fire, Earth Spirit, Terror Blade, Warlock. Storm now Team Spirit. Empire, they're going to go with the Storm Spirit. So... FN... FN on the Storm Spirit, Ghostic Offlane with the Legion Commander. Maposhka playing the Clockwork. King R on the Rubik. And then Shadow Fiend. Chappie? Wait, what? Coquester, Co 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 what do you think of this? Well, any explanation? Wait, that's right. So, Queen of Pain is going to be played by mid one Kezu on the Darkseer, Yapsor with the Earth Spirit, MP with the Terror Blade, and Warlock being played remaining. by Puppy. Chappie is on that Shadow Fiend. I, I'm still, I'm still confused about this draft. Conflicted. But, anyway, well, you know, we'll see how it works out for them. Don't Protoss Towers, don't, don't get upgraded. Kind of want to see how this Empire lineup works. I, I'm, I don't know, I'm dumbfounded. But it is game three between Secret and Empire. And we'll go over the lineups one more time. You already know them. There's the souls, the easy souls. Keep them coming. Clockwork for just the souls. Chappie on the Shadow Fiend Maposhka with the Clockwork FN with the Storm Spirit 1, 2. They work just in tandem. It's very nice. Legion Commander played by Ghostic and Rubik played by King R on the other side. Take a look. Secret mid one is going to be playing the Quap Puppy with the Warlock Kezu on the Dark Seer. Yapsor with the Earth Spirit. And then finally. Of course, Terrorblade played by MP, and they actually take a look. There's the Rolling Boulder coming in on King R. He's going to have the Telekinesis, and it actually stuns up two more, and King R, there it is. First Blood goes the way of mid one. Did throw over that Shadow Strike and does land the last hit. So, one nothing already for Secret. And Metamorphosis used by MP. Interesting. I'm not too sure why. So it's going to be Ghost Stick in the offlane with this Legion Commander up against MP on the Terror Blade. We take a look over mid. Maposhka is here with FN and actually safe lane. And we did know because it's Chappie. We are going to see that Chappie is here and has... Miss Puppy getting the courier it is going to be Chappy here with those extra souls from the Cogs with King R up against Kezu and Yapsor. So if they can make quick work of Chappy, be interesting if uh, those souls all do matter. Just continuing to rack up the souls here. Now at 18, there's the Mac. Look on towards the other lanes as mid one is here with Puppy going to use that Shadow Word to heal him on up. And Puppy can stay really nearby. Continue to work on just keeping mid one healthy. Continue to keep him aggressive in lanes. We can look over MP. Metamorphosis down for another minute. Ghost going to take clear advantage of that. He's level two and actually still level one is MP. And now as I say that, there it is. He's level two. 
So TPing over is now going to be Puppy on this Warlock. And it's probably just to keep him healed up with that Shadow Word, and that's exactly what it is. Just keep him emailing well. So really just Puppy going around, giving out those heals. Heals for sale, and he'll keep his cores in lane and just continuing to try and farm. So. This right now we take a look at those last hits, and 23 denies, of course, Cogs for Chappie. Got 18 souls and doing very well, and it's that extra damage that's going to help him get those denies and get those last hits, and... He's now at 11 and 25. Meanwhile, 12 and 0, 13 and 0 is going to be Ghostic. So, he's farming all right. 15 and 0 is going to be this terrible. Aid. So, MP all by his lonesome up against his Legion commander. And as I say that coming over again is going to be Puppy. But really, I don't expect anything in terms of kills from the two of them. They don't have a stun. They can't really lock down Ghostic. But we take a look over at Secret. They've already got themselves 1,200 in the net worth lead. Look over bottom. Kezu just going to TP out. Things other than First Blood are uh, kind of quiet. Again, this is, you know, not, not a lane up top for Secret to really make anything happen. There's the Presti attack. Just to purge off that Fatal Bonds. Keep himself in lane as these creeps are getting hit and destroyed. And last hits here for MP as he's 23-0. Let's take a look over mid. A lane we haven't really focused on really too much as mid one is here 18-12. and 12. Did you see the Rolling Boulder come over on Maposhka? He might have been caught out. There's the Cog. He's going to get the Deny off with the Shadow Strike. Kezu's actually the one who gets the kill as the Ion Shell is out on Yapsor. So they get the kill. It's 2 to nothing for Secret. And Maposhka dead for the first time this game. We take a look over up top one more time. Just one more time, of course. MP is here. He's level 4. Now he's got 1 in the Conjure Image and 2 in Metamorphosis. Coming over King R. He's level 3, so let's see if they can do anything with the Telekinesis as well as the uh, Fade Bolt. Especially on this Darkseer or even now this Earth Spirit if they catch a glimpse of him. They do spot him for just a moment. He's got the Clarity, so he could Rolling Boulder out, but they might look to set something up on the side of Empire. They've got Maposhka here. He's got himself Battery Assault as well as the Cogs. They can lock him down for just a moment. Maybe they find a kill, but TPing over now is Kezu. It's going to make it that much harder. They don't have Hookshot or really anything to stun them for too long. And there's the Battery Assault as well as the Cogs. Might be in a little bit of trouble. There's the Raze. He's stunned up once more and he's going to be pushed away. There's the Telekinesis to follow it up. And they do end up getting the kill. So Cogs do end up working out with the Battery Assault. Did I say Boulder Smash? I meant the Telekinesis from King Arc. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. So two to one, and still an 1800 net worth lead for Secret. Shadowwood comes out on MP once again. That is an M and a P, not NP. I know I do sound like I say it that way. He uses that metamorphosis, and Ghostic kind of just has to sit back a little bit. Doesn't want to get too far forward. There's the overwhelming odds. Ghostic actually going to try and go in. Meanwhile, over on the side, Maposhka going to die to mid one again. We'll take a look over in mid one as he does get that kill. He's now 2-0. Oh. I didn't want to leave Ghostic for too long. I thought maybe he'd try to get ballsy and go in even further. Especially with the overwhelming odds hitting out on two. Back. Meanwhile, there's the Rolling Boulder coming in as well as the Blink, as well as the Shadow Strike coming out from mid one. FN trying to stay alive. And static hit is going to hit hard, and actually, he's going to get Yapsor before he falls. The Static Remnant doing a whole bunch of damage. Yapsor is going to fall, and that is not the one for one that maybe Secret had in mind, but now Yapsor, he's up top. He doesn't really mind going down. There's the Rolling Boulder in. That's going to hit on Ghostic. He might be in a little bit of trouble. They're going to try and get the battery assault to slow down MP. 
and now they do. But Mavoshka, he might have found himself in a little bit of trouble, but actually he tries to turn this around, as now it's the overwhelming odds coming through still with the battery assault. So Mavoshka's got to watch out. There's the duel coming through, and it will be the kill as Chappie. He'll follow it up with the raises, and they get the kill. But mid one, he comes in with the blink, blink and scream, and mid one will clean up Mavoshka, so it's a one-for-one -one trade. So Kezu just continuing to farm up here. He's found himself just 26 and 0. Nothing too great for a Dark Seer with the Ion Shells. We do take a look at mid one who's 50 to 20. Switch this over actually to net worth, and we do see how far ahead mid one is. And, and this is this is kind of similar to game one in the fact that. Mid one was really far ahead. Maybe the scenarios, they really aren't the same as uh, Empire did have the lead. I guess it would, I would say it was closer to game two in terms of scenarios. And now Mposhka comes over. He's going to try and use that battery salt as well as the cogs again. Kezu with the ion shell. I'm not too sure Mposhka really wants to stay nearby. There's the rolling boulder coming out on Chappie. The boulder smash comes through on Mposhka. The race hits on Yapsor. And now they try to blink in, get that scream. Overwhelming odds comes through and go stick with the duel. He'll get another one. So mid one finds himself dead to duel. And they'll only get one, but it is dual damage out for Ghostic. Haste. So four to five, or five to four in favor of Secret, but that's a good amount of gold going the way of Empire. FN, he's kind of abandoned mid, just trying to farm what he can with the static remnant, get this bounty rune up. Got himself that nice soul ring, of course, looking for the bloodstone, and then the, the uh, orchid afterwards. Radiant's top tower is under attack. Take a look over at Kezu. He's going to be looking for that mech first. Rolling boulder forward, blink with the scream, shadow strike out on Chappie. Telekinesis comes through, they're gonna end up using the sonic wave of Quap. Mid one gets the kill, they might look for more in King R. He's gonna go through the trees, behind the tower, and mid one really could just blink past the tower's range if he wants to. That's exactly what he do, rolling boulder, what he does, rolling boulder comes through. And they get the kill off the geomagnetic grip of Yapsor and mid one combined. They get the silence out on Rubik. And mid one gets another kill. So nice double kill for mid one. They don't want to have a repeat performance of game one. And, and go stick here with 20 damage already. And it's not something to fear too much just yet. But if that really does start to get out of control, maybe the Legion is what holds this game for Empire until Storm. FN finds himself a little bit more farm. He might be the MP of this game three. Jackpot. So, take a look over Puppy. Level six, so they do have that chaotic offering. Poshka going to show himself. Doesn't have Hookshot, but does have the battery assault as well as the Cogs coming in. And FN's here to try and get Puppy. They're not going to drop the Chaotic Offering, but FN, he's pretty low on mana, and he'll just have to TP out, use what he can to just leap. So they get one there, and another dual victory for Ghostic. 30 dual damage, press the attack out on Chappie, get him a little bit of heal and a purge if he needs it. Meanwhile, Tower over top is going to fall. Let's take looking over mid a little bit too long. As it is uh, Darkseer, do who does end up dying to the duel of Legion Commander. So. Go stick. Again, he's doing pretty well. He's looking for that Blink Dagger next. Hasn't quite needed it in the duels he's got. Meanwhile, bottom, there's the Chaotic Offering drop. Chappie's going to fall. The rotations come through. Puppy, Yapsor, Kezu, and Titors were all bottom. So eight to six in favor of Secret Designers. Another one. 
No more missing. No more missing kills. That's the end of it. From this point on, I was really hoping a kill would happen right there, but from this point on, I will miss no more. Radiant structures are fortified. So Secret continuing to push this bottom tier one. We take a look over top as actually MP is nearby Mapushka and Ghostick. And use that hook shot and duel in tandem, and MP might run into their hands. But he's going to get spotted out by this creep. But the hook shot hits anyway. There's the cogs. He might have found himself a little bit too much trouble. He does get the cogs killed and looking for the Sunder. Looks like. He's going to try and turn that around. And Maposhka pressed the attack. There's the boulder smash from downtown. Yapsor with the boulder smash from miles away. They do end up getting the kill. MP finishes off Maposhka. So 9 to 6 in favor of Secret. A little bit of Kobe coming out from Yapsor. I can't get over it. That was weird. That just said 6,000 net worth lead for a split second. You take a look over Bonham Kezu. Still looking for that mech. Just about has it. I think, he, yeah, he has the gold for it. And mid one is here with Kezu. They might look to go on Chappie if he's not too careful. They've got the ion shell, so if they want to blink in close, it could make this very difficult for the Shadow Fiend. And and Chappie's not someone I really looked at too much this game. You know, I focused on him a little bit bottom, but other than that, not really too much. And he's trying to get himself that Dragon Lance. He's Chappie got himself Treads Aqua and an Ogre Club, so not really too much. His farm's not terrible, but. Behind the likes of mid one and MP, it's kind of lacking. Let's see what Empire choose to do. They've got the smoke out on FN. They caught a glimpse of anybody on secret. He's going to take a look over at the Legion Commander. Ghost Ticket. They're going to throw the overwhelming odds. They're going to get the duel out. There's the ball lightning coming through. Terribly might be in a little bit of trouble, but there's the Sonic Wave. Can he get the Thunder up in time? He's going to drop to FN. But now they try to turn it around on King R. There's the Telekinesis coming through. The ball lightning is going to be out by FN. They're going to try and stop him one more time. The scream just not enough as he does finish off that TP. King R, is he going to be so lucky? No, there's the Boulder Smash and Yapsor with another Kobe shot. I mean, that was point blank, but they do end up stopping the TP. And they find another one in King R. So 11 is 7. That's nice for Secret as they continue to extend their lead now at 5,000 net worth. And that was more... That wasn't more dual damage. It ended just a little bit afterwards. It was the overwhelming odds. Uh, ball lightning through. And then the duel, and it just wasn't enough. And I mean, he could not get that Sunder off, and that's what caused him to die. But they're going to use this Metamorphosis to push this Tier 1. There's no really stopping it, FN. You can try, but your defense effort is futile. Take a look over. Overwhelming odds is thrown forward. There's the duel, as well as the raises coming in. And that's going to be another duel win for Ghost. Puppy is dead, down, and defeated. This Ghost Tick now has 40 duel damage. So MP, Yapsor, as well as Kezu push this. Oh, whoops. Tier 2, not down too well. They're continuing to push. Pretty nice job at that. Take a look and Storm Spirit. FN, looking for that Bloodstone still. Find himself only one death. It's not FN, the MP of first game. If you guys really understand that reference, if you were here the whole time. But uh, he's farming quite well. He does have enough for the Vitality Booster, and uh, he's a little bit a ways off of the Bloodstone, however. And we do take a look over the Legion Commander going for the Blade Mail, but does have that blink and 40 dual damage to top that off. The top of the net worth sits mid one. Mid one's here, Orchid, Treads, really looking very nice at the moment, and going for a Lincoln Sphere next. We take a look over at MP. His farm has been just as good as mid one's, and he's going to be looking for a Dragon Lance of his own. Or actually, he has the Dragon Lance and he's looking for a Yasha of his own. My bad. Incoming. Take a look over his secret. 
They're smoked up, trying to make something happen. We missed the only Chaotic Offering that's really been dropped up to this point, but it's Yapsor, Mid-1, and Puppy moving through. King R, oh boy, you're the victim. Here comes the Orchid. He's getting very low. Boulder Smash will land another one. Comes in, and another kill for Mid-1, as he is now dominating. So now a 5,500 net worth lead. And actually, a Rocket Flare comes from a Poshka. If they notice that, does he have a TP out? It should. Actually, it's on cooldown for 25 seconds. He's stuck in this position. Just throwing Rocket Flares. Are they going to pinpoint this? You're so close. Do it with Flare. So you take a look over bottom, mid one going to continue to push. Now he's here with MP. They do have Metamorphosis if they want to push these towers again. And that's the early onset aggression that MP does have with that extra damage. And there it is. There's the Metamorphosis. Mid one is going to help as well. They've got this tier two dead to rights. And they'll clean up the creep wave. They might even look for more. Because if you look for a tier three that forces empire back maybe into a fight they don't want but here come the tps back out there's the rolling boulder he's gonna get the geomagnetic grip as well here comes the magnetize and now there's the purge coming from the press the attack here comes the chaotic offering the vacuum as well as the orchid they really want fn and the silence is about to run out but he will still die and they only get a storm spirit they do drop the chaotic offering as well as the magnetize but to support ulties at the end of the day secret They'll take it. So 13 to 8, 7,000 net worth lead for Secret as they continue to roll through this game. Legion Commander still just 40 dual damage looking for the Blade Mail. Hookshot comes in on MP. He's got the Battery Assault as well as the Cogs slowing him down for just a moment. The Cogs are continuing to push him away. There's the Battery Assault. The Thunder comes on in and now MP is going to be the one chasing onto Maposhka. But Ghostic, he's looking for that duel. He wants to kill this Terrorblade. Meanwhile, off screen, they are going to get themselves a kill on King R. Let's see if they can get this kill on the Terrorblade. Terrorblade hits way harder than Ghostic. The races finally come in and they finally get the kill. But it's not going to be in time for the duel and they do end up bringing down the Terrorblade. So that was a lot. Meanwhile, they'll lose Maposhka as mid one comes in for yet another kill. He is 11 and 1. Wicked sick streak for this quap. Just, it's, it's crazy how a draft like game one, it just went all wrong for Secret. But in these last two games, it's really just been getting much better for them. And of course, that's, that's the work of of Secret finding their groove with this roster ad and, and really, you know, now they don't have Pile I Die. They're, they're trying to figure out in the new roster where they have their chemistry with what heroes they have that chemistry and and something like this, a series like this, is where they're kind of finding it. Take a look over at Empire, Chappie, Shadow Blade as well as that Dragon Lance, and then the Bloodstone is finished for FN. And again, we take a look at Legion Commander, still looking for that Blade Mail, but has not found dual damage in just over five minutes, I'd say. Mid one is just so farmed. He is 3,000 net worth ahead of everybody else, but now here comes the Ball Lightning as well as the Static Link. Or, uh, the, the Static Vortex, or Electric Vortex. Got that wrong three times. And uh, they also get a big shot coming in from a Poshka. And they'll get themselves the kill, so they'll, they'll shut down mid one for just a moment. With a big damage dealer, here comes the telekinesis out onto Yapsor. That'll stun a puppy as well. Boulder Smash not going to hit this time every time Kobe misses. Every once in a while, Kobe does miss. There's the magnetize as well as the geomagnetic grip. They'll get the kill on King R. They'll get one in return, and it's a support for a core, but a kill is nice if they can get anything. So the Shadow Blade's out for Chappie. Yeah, we'll see that. Here's the blink with the duel. The raises are going to come through. That's more duel damage going the way of Ghost Stick. Now 54. As they find the Absorb just a little bit too far out, despite being very close to that tower. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Was 
16 to 11. The net worth lead hasn't really spread too much since it's gotten to this 5,000 point. When you take a look at FN, he's trying to get himself that orchid, which could turn around these fights for Empire. Take a look over at Maposhka. Chaotic offering was used. Kezu running him down with the ion shell. The rolling boulder comes through from Yapsor. They do end up getting the kill on Maposhka. It's now 17 to 11 in favor of Secret. They'll actually, look towards Roche. They've got the Metamorphosis of MP. They've got the rest of the team here. Anyone who hits very hard still ahead of that net worth by quite a bit. They have the medallion. They do have the medallion from Puppy. So they get the Aegis, that'll be put on MP. Much more net worth going the way of Secret, they now lead by 7,000. We continue to watch as MP builds up that farm and has that Hurricane Pike ready with the Yasha. And does this have anything for him? Let's check a little bit of this courier. Lincoln's here out from mid one. Here? Nope. And Orchid, not close to being finished just yet. Now, 280 plus 775, so about 1,000. 1,060 gold, still needed. Something along those lines. Take a look over at mid one, and Yaps who are really looking to find a kill of their own. That scan recently in Maposhka. Oh boy. Oh boy, Maposhka here. There it is, rolling boulder actually in a completely different direction. Mid one's gonna come on through. There's the battery assault. They're gonna try and get themselves the TP out. He actually stops it as the boulder smash comes through. There's the orchid geomagnetic grip. And trying to deny himself to the hellbear is Maposhka, but I'm sorry, sir. You can run, but you cannot hide. As mid one will take another. He's now 12 and 2. to 11 in favor of secret now that blade mail is finished for ghost stick they look towards the orchid just need 700 more gold for fn and then chappy shadow blade dragon lance and now looking for the rest of this bkb just about there so empire they're starting to hit their marks with some of these items let's see how well it works for them with just the sheer fact of how farm terribly to mid one are they're gonna smoke up his three puppy kezu as well as MP are going to come on over. Silenced up is going to be the Storm Spirit. They get the uh, Magnetize down on a couple of There's a Chaotic Offering going to be dropped down as well as the wall. They've got themselves two in both King R and Ghost Stick. They're going to try and run away. Continue to move in as he just avoids the Rolling Boulder. He will zip very far out. FN. The Shadow Word's still ticking him down quite a bit. He'll be able to escape as they do lose the Legion Commander as well as the Rubik. And they're actually going to come in again. They're going to try and get Chappy. And now they're trying to get the Boulder Smash. Yapsor again. He blinks Boulder Smash. There's the dust. There's the kill. Mid one finds another Yapsor playing out of his mind right now on this Earth Spirit. So Yapsor has just been all over it. Now with this Blink, can Rolling Boulder to close the distance? Blink Boulder Smash, and he does get the stun out on Chappie as well as the Dust. Wow. Secret. 21 to 11, 12,000 net worth lead. Another game where they're kind of rolling all over Empire. The secret continue to roll forward. The cores get hurt in terms of their net worth on Empire. They do actually finish off the BKB. And they're going to smoke up as four. Ghostic FN, King R, and Maposhka. The entire side of Empire here. Let's see if they can find anything on secret. Try to turn this game around just a bit. Come through. The MP might be the target. There's the Rock Floor as well as the Overwhelming Oz. The TV's already coming in from Yapsor. And now there's the... Hurricane Pike forward from MP as Kezu's coming in and disengaging is Empire. So 
the immediate rotations from Secret really stopped the onslaught that could have been from Empire. And again, they're left with uh, a bit of an empty feeling. So BKB looking to be picked up by mid one. He's very close to that. Yap or he's looking for seems to be a new one. Kezu, let's take a look. Is that Guardian Greaves getting finished up? It it Secret, they're looking to be aggressive. They sit in the jungle of Empire. Meanwhile, they're up top as FN continues to farm and he's got that orchid. Has the Bloodstone ready, now looking for the BKB. And he's about 26, 2700 gold away from that. Or not, he's about 2900 gold away. 29 and a half. Dyer's top top is under. Top, FN, Ghost Stick just looking to continue to farm these BKBs. And really need to feel ready for these fights. And I think without these BKBs, they feel very vulnerable. And that's the case. These team fights are not going to go their way without them. Or even really have a chance to go their way without them. With how farmed the Terrorblade is MP. And how farmed mid one is. He's now got a BKB of his own now. It really feels as though Secret, they can dominate any team fight that's going to happen in front of the eyes of Empire. So they're continuing to shoot out rocket flares, but again, Empire, unless they find just the solo MP, and you really don't want to take that by Shrine for the sheer fact that the TPs can come in, you really can't go after anybody on secret. It's just, it's a struggle for Empire. They really need to just sit back and farm anything and everything they can. Secret do feel pretty comfortable in pushing continually. They have the double damage. The Lincoln Sphere BKB ready for mid one. Take a look at MP. Look for that Scotty and see him forward. And that's a TP back. It is going to be the Storm Spirit. Go look up top. The TPs are coming in. The push that might be in a little bit of trouble. There's the blink forward with the Orchid as well as the double damage. He's going to get the Shadow Strike coming in through. Gapsor is going to blink forward. Get the Boulder Smash to hit on the Poshka. He'll fall to mid one. And mid one is now dominating once more at 15, 2, and 4. Not really the game that Maposhka is pretty happy with. And meanwhile, roaming around as a team is going to be secret. There's the rolling boulder forward. They're going to try and blink forward, get the boulder smash, but they're not even going to need it. They get the kill on King R. Mid one on another one. Now a mega kill streak. It has been the mid one show. Just really secret. Rolling through onto Empire. Where will Mercy be held? 14, 15,000 net worth lead. They're just continuing to push all these creep waves. What do Empire do? And then that's really what they're trying to do is extend their time. But kind of what I said last game is, is how many times can you say they just try to extend their game? There's the blink on forward with the Orchid coming out on the Poshka. He's that blade mail out. The Sonic Wave does hit. The press the attack is there. Shadow Strike lands on the Poshka. He should be okay, Chappie, trying to move forward. Real quick. Thank you very much for the 100 gold. So Secret, they move in, they harass you, and then they just, they move out. They farm more. Keep this lead of 15,000 net worth. And Empire, they're kind of looking at this game from the outside in, like, what do we do? Where... Where do we go right here? What can we do? Is there is there anything in a blueprint somewhere in this game that can find us a team fight win and possibly a turnaround in this game? At some point, 
I feel like they have to make a move. They'll be forcing their hand. There's the Shadow Blade. Ch Happy, he's gonna be right under mid one. And there it is. There's the blink as well as the duel. It's gonna come on through. And then they might be in a little bit of trouble. There's the Chaotic Earth offering gonna come on in. And now a hook shot comes in from a Poshka. They've already taken out mid one. There's the Sunder to keep the MP alive. Chappy's gonna get very low. He's got that BKB, but it's not gonna be enough as MP's gonna find himself another kill. So they've got three. Meanwhile, they do lose their Warlock as well as another in mid one. But it's a triple kill just like that for MP. So they'll trade the three for two, especially when you take out two of the cores of Empire. And with that, they've got the Metamorphosis out on MP. They'll hit away at this tier three, and they are really looking to just take a high ground tower, open up those shrines, take them out, go for Roche next. Roche does respawn. A look actually towards the app store. Mapochke is here. They do get the Orchid out, but a double geomagnetic grip. This might end up... <laughs> Costing Empire a couple of lives. They walk through the wall. FN again with that Orchid. And he'll continue to try and run away. But Kezu is here. We take a look over at Mapochka. Hook shot to stop that TP out. Here comes FN. They're going to actually be looking for that duel onto MP. Or maybe you've lost your moment. And now there's the duel. And MP is dead. So they find the duel. 82 duel damage for Ghost Egg. They'll get MP. Man, oh man. Is it not working out for Empire? Or is it working out for Empire? Sorry, sorry, sorry. <sighs> Got something in the back of my head I just wanted to say, I guess. But that worked out for Empire, and that's, it's things like that that bring them back. Is uh, They've cut down the net worth to uh, lead by 2,000, so there's that. couple more of those in secret should be uh, uh maybe a bit, a bit of trouble hook shot comes through not gonna hit on anybody but there's the boulder smash that's gonna hit on the poshka he's gonna be in a little bit of trouble there's the orc coming out from mid one he can be popped around the horn here comes the requiem and now they might be in a little bit of trouble mid one he's actually getting very low the duel is out mid one just blinks away but they're gonna zip on forward there's the ball lightning mid one still getting chased out by fn but the boulder smash is gonna come on through but the bkb is gonna be used by fn so he's still alive here comes the magnetize they don't end up getting that kill on mid one he's gonna run away now they're gonna have to ball lightning away but here comes the rolling boulder and no boulder smash as he gets silenced up by that orchid they've taken out Maposhka. they've taken out king r and mp's gonna get another one in fn so 29 to 15 they turn it around and they take three on secret where it looked maybe just maybe that empire were gonna take a fight So with that, they head over towards Roche and Secret. They kill three, they'll take Roche. And this might be it as they'll look for more and they might look for a tier three next. They still have Metamorphosis available for MP. So Secret. 29 to 15, 16, 17 and a half thousand net worth lead. And mid one says, you take Roche, I'll take this shrine. You know, you guys do your own thing. There it is. Just needed a little bit longer. If they take mid one out there, they're not chasing, they're not putting themselves out of position, and all of a sudden, Empire, you know, they take a core. Maybe they turn it around, they look for more. But instead... Uh, you know, you've got yourselves FN who's going very deep. He jumps from here all the way down towards this back end of the jungle. And now getting ever so surrounded by the rest of his team. I really wish I had a replay right there. Uh, by the rest of Secret's side. And he's put himself in too deep. He doesn't end up ball lightning over here. But Yapsor again comes in with the blink. Uh, or comes in with the rolling boulder. Doesn't end up getting silenced out. But it is the vision that MP needed to finish him off. So. It just it didn't go right for Empire. They were on that on the ledge of just tipping over that team fight in favor of them. Ghost Egg's gonna fall to mid one. Stupendous! So, secret. They're gonna continue to move forward. Is Metamorphosis up? Yes, it is.
So they look towards bottom. They look towards taking this tier three. There it is. And they look towards taking these racks. Mid one just going to show himself. And he doesn't have the Aegis. It's actually MP who has it. But they'll take this set of racks. And now they'll leave 23,000, 24,000 net worth. Lincoln's is going to stop them from going in on to mid one and now they look even further for another set of racks go in get this extra set mid and why not they'll go top they'll look for more they're gonna look to get mega creeps really just finish off the game nothing stopping them f any finally tp's back to base but they're gonna lose this tier three at top at least the fade bolt comes through conjure image is gonna be used by mp and to continue to work with these racks end up getting mega creeps they do open it up though two set of racks down for empire range melee gone range melee gone and tier three dead up top and now secret they have a 27,000 net worth lead not really much standing in their way as they still do have the Aegis, but maybe they just wait for Metamorphosis. Come off cooldown in 47 seconds and really... Uh, actual... Oh, FN, you're in a bad spot. There is the Geomagnetic Group. He's going to be forced to use that BKB. I do not know, that, sir, that you want to be in that position. There's the Shiva's Garden just getting out. His Empire. Secret double the kills of Empire. Continue to push. Double damage available here. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> double damage available for MP. And now he's got Metamorphosis off cooldown as well. They're throwing everything plus the kitchen sink towards Empire to finish this game three off. And Secret trying desperately to move on. Both teams are, but Secret's in the better position at this moment. So, they move up top, MP, Moonshard. There it is, there's the Metamorphosis, double damage, and he will melt those towers. There's the duel on the back end. They're trying to get themselves a kill onto Kezu, and they will find it. So they will trade one for one, Darkseer dead, Chappie's gonna get himself back alive. There's a Sonic Wave coming out on Chappie. Chappie's gonna be in a little bit of trouble. He's gonna get that Requiem off, but there's the Geomagnetic Grip, as well as the Magnetize. It looks as though they're gonna continue to go in onto Chappie. Three dead, and it is actually four as Maposhka had to buy back. It could be Maposhka dying again before the ancient goes down, but no. 35 to 16, secret. They win game three. They win the series.